Hi guys, glad you can make it back. Well, if you were like me, you would look at Cadillacs and hopefully one day that uh, you could uh, get one, you know, one that would fit your budget. And for me, that was the 1997 Cadillac DeVille de Elegance. And I can't tell you how much I love this car. The power, the comfort. Anyway, we'll talk about my car in a later video. But today, we're going to show you how to replace your serpentine belt. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is pop the hood. And we're going to go on the passenger side. And uh, just for safety purposes, why don't you go ahead and disconnect the positive side of your battery. Just because we're going to be working in that area. We don't want to accidentally touch anything to uh, create a short. And what you're going to notice is you're going to notice your water fill for your radiator and uh, your condenser right next to that you can see the green arrow and then the red arrow is where the fan belt is or your serpentine belt and that's the only part you're going to see everything else is below that okay if you look at the arrow here that's the top we were looking at and this is what's going on below it you can see how the serpentine belt wraps around all the pulleys there what we're looking for is see the number one that's the tensioner and if you can, you can see on the tensioner, there's a little square. It's a half inch. You can put your half inch socket. That's where the red arrow's at. Or by the tool that will fit in the tensioner. Once it's in there, what you're going to do is you're going to turn it clockwise or towards the front of the engine. Okay, you can see here, uh, if you look down, it's a little hard to see. Uh, there's a red arrow there where the little square is at. What you're going to do, again, is put your uh, breaker bar or half inch socket uh, that'll fit in there. Now, what happened to me is I had to buy the tool because of the, uh, there's a tube uh, where the air conditioner runs through and I really don't wanna touch that because once you touch it, bend it, break it, uh, you're gonna, it's gonna cost a lot of money to fix. So just, you know, I just bought the tool and um, you can pick it up at Harbor Freight for like 18 bucks and it's worth it to have it in your repertoire of uh, arsenal of tools there um, anyway and you can see the tool here how I just slide it in there's it comes in two pieces and I'm sticking the half inch part in right now of the bar and then I put the other bar in there to help uh, give it a little more leverage and I turn it to the front of the engine clockwise so I'm going to turn it to the front of the engine and once I pull forward, you can see where the red arrow's at. My fingers are pushing the top of the serpentine belt off the pulley of the power steering pump. Okay, once you've got the serpentine belt off the power steering pump, everything should be pretty much loose. And you can start removing the belts off the pulleys. Now they all should be moving forward like the blue arrow shows. They should be coming off towards you. The only problem you're going to have is the one at the tensioner bar, which is the red arrow. That one you're going to have to fish behind the pulley and fish it out from behind it. And once you've fished it out, you can completely remove the serpentine belt. Now, once you replace the serpentine belt, what you want to do is get your new one. Make sure it's facing the correct way grooves with the grooves on the pulleys so all the grooves on your belt should be connected to the grooves of your pulley um anyway look at the diagram wrap your uh you know get your serp get your serpentine belt down there and put the serpentine belt on on the tensioner bar first the one with the red arrow fish it behind just like you took it out put it in there properly and then put all then put the serpentine belts on all the pulleys except for the top one where the power steering pump is. When, you, when you've got it all fished through, all the way through there, leave the power steering pump one off. And that's where you use the tension bar again and loosen the tension so you can get the top of the serpentine belt over the power steering pump. So you can see here I'm using the uh, tool to go ahead and get in the, the tensioner and then just put some pressure on it which loosens up the belt and now you can see I can just slip over the belt over the pulley on the power steering pump and it just snaps right in there 
just like a rubber band. Okay, just double check that the fab belt is on there correctly. Look at your uh, diagram again just to make sure everything's on there correct. Make sure that the grooves are faced to the pulley grooves. Go ahead and connect your positive side on your battery and make sure and if you've done everything correctly you've just completed putting in your own serpentine belt. So as you can see putting your serpentine belt on isn't really that hard. It takes a little time and yeah it can be frustrating in that uh, tensioner area but other than that it's pretty easy. Well I hope this video helped you and uh, save you some money and of course save you some time. Thanks again for tuning in and watching my videos. I've got a lot more videos coming up on uh, Cadillac. I got another three more videos on, on the Cadillac. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Until then, we'll see you later. Bye.